What's going on guys, this is Bruce Matson, your host of the show, Metro Scout Fantasy Football Show, it looks at all things fantasy, redraft, dynasty, devy, everything, something you're into, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, tell all your homies, get the word out, but I want to make a quick video, news dropped yesterday, and more news dropped today, on Tamarian Terry, he was released by Seattle, it came out of nowhere, we just thought he was just stinking up the joint, or Pete Carroll didn't like him, or they wanted to go another avenue, bring in another player, we didn't know what was going on, but he was cut, and we're like, damn, Devi is rough sometimes, because you get those players, you're worth first, second, third round Devi picks, and then when it comes time to play in the NFL, their careers are short-lived, they're late draft picks, undrafted, and we saw this with Terry. We got that news that it was released. This morning, we got news. We got wind of him being involved or being around or whatever allegedly happened. I don't want to give concrete stone evidence to something to something I don't know about other than headlines that I saw that I read a few paragraphs on is that he was part of a murder or he murdered somebody, or something. Somebody got murdered. That is being tied to him, and he got cut by Seattle. From what I gather is his career is more than likely done. It's more than likely over for him. He had a steep hill to climb to begin with. This pretty much put a lot of oil on that hill and sat on fire, and now he's not going to be able to climb up that hill. If for some reason he's not guilty, he's good to go, it's still going to be almost impossible for him to carve out a role with an NFL team to be fantasy relevant. Just things are not shaking out. This does not look good. If you need to cut him on your dynasty team, go ahead and do so. Just do it. Get the next guy off the waiver wire. Churn out that roster spot. I just don't feel good about this. I, he could come back. We've seen weird stuff happen with players like this before. They come back. Usually those players have higher draft capital. They've done something in the league. They have proved themselves at least a little bit. He has not proved himself at all. This has been tied to his name. And I don't know if this was tied to his name going into the draft during draft season. It just wasn't brought up due to legalities or whatever to the media. So that could have been a reason why he fell in the draft, which makes a lot of sense to me because he is a very good player. He was a high-end Debbie prospect a few years ago. A lot of people held him in high regards. He had a lot of good promising things in his player profile, athleticism, length, catching deep balls, but it's just not shaking out. And it's better to cut bait now than to just hold him and miss out on top end talent on the waiver wire. Now, if you don't have any talent on the waiver wire, don't do it. Just hold them, just hope for the best, and then cut them when you can. But do what you need to do, but do not diamond hands this guy at all. And if news starts to break out that he's signing with a team, starting to look good in camp, then pick him up. But I imagine he's going to be floating on waivers on most dynasty leagues for a while. I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me, and hit that subscribe button on the way out. Show me some love. Drop me some comments. Help me on the algorithm, and I'll catch you next time.